Gulfport football program is batting 500 when it comes to winning a district title over the last decade. But the Admiral's not interested in leaving anything to a coin flip this season. Now two years removed from being on top at stop number 21 on News 25's 25 teams in 25 days. 25 teams in 25 days. Brought to you by champion Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Yo, get pushed! Oh, That's fine enough. That's enough. Senior class, you know, they were freshmen we won last time we won the district championship. You know, we've, it's senior has been through a lot, you know, dealing with COVID for two years. Uh, this is the first year back, no restrictions, and they want to leave their legs to bring the district championship back on the golf court this year. They say sharing is caring, but not when it comes to the golf court football program and celebrating Region 4 Class 6A titles, most recently from 2017 through 19, as a part of what was once a 23-game district winning streak. I was at those games watching them. I, I saw how they held themselves and I was at he, these practices watching them every day. My brother was on those scenes. Uh, I want to be there too. I want to be better than him. I want to have a team better than them and we got to prove some. After a forgettable one win COVID impacted 2020 season, Gulfport getting back to Gulfport football in 2021, winning its first four district games capped off by a wild one point win at rival Harrison Central, but then two straight losses to Iberville and Ocean Springs, and all of a sudden the Admirals hitting the road in the first round of the playoffs, which turned out to be the end of the road by way of a 33 to seven loss at Oak Grove. It was very emotional seeing the seniors leaving. It was bad. I went to the, the state championship game. I knew I, I wanted to be there this year. You know, I'm not going to take it for granted, you know. I think it helped us out a lot, and it wasn't the outcome we wanted, but I think it'll help us out a lot this year. We want to get past that. You know, the year before that, before COVID hit, we had got past, got over the hump, COVID hit, but we want to get back to some momentum where, you know, we feel like we can play with anybody in the state, and that's what we're trying to do this year. Make that 12 non-losing seasons in the last 13 years for the Admirals, who posted an overall record of 7-5 and five and a district mark of 5-2. and two. This year's team hungry to finish what they started, 13 of those starters coming back to go along with 17 seniors, including quarterback Jacob Palazzo, wide receiver Tavares Henshaw, and running back Emmanuel Bentley, which could make for one of the most explosive offenses on the coast once you factor in a game breaker like junior standout Gavin Brown. Gavin Brown, oh, look, when he catches that ball, if he catches that ball, he's making some plays. Tavares, it, they'll always get open. They'll be open. It makes my life easy a lot of the time, you know, turning a flat route into a touchdown, you know. It's awesome to have. Junior safety Christian Dillard also giving a lot of praise to a defensive line that he calls crazy, but perhaps the X factor to the entire operation in 2022 coming from the sidelines. It's great, you know, this first time in four years that we've had, you know, the same staff coming back in two years in a row. You know, these guys, we know each other. They know expectations. The players are starting to know our expectations. Everybody just flows and works well together. Yet another reason for high expectations this season, Gulfport's brand new turf practice field. If nothing else, history appears to be on the side of the Admirals, who haven't gone three years without winning a district title since 2011. Based on that math, they're due. We got to finish where we started. You know, we got we came back once in ball games, but you know, we want to get back, get back in the conversation of winning district championship and making a run to playoffs or state championship. I'd be lying if I said we hadn't been talking about this for a while. You know, uh, really since ninth grade, we've all been saying that playing in Hasburg for the state championships to go our senior year, and we got a chance to do it now. Late start for Gulfport to kick off the season as the nightcap to the Port City Bowl doubleheader against George County on August 26th. And how about some coaches' picks from John Archie? Favorite meal? How can you pick just one? Patio 44, Sully's Gulf Port, Captain Al's Steak and Seafood, Felix's Murky Waters. The list goes on and on. Favorite all-time coach? Bill Cower. No nonsense, but his players loved him. And then favorite championship moment coming as a player on that 1999 Madison Central team who won the 5A title.